As requested, today we are comparing Parfums de Mali's Ojan, which is my first niche fragrance I ever bought about three years ago, versus the new Parfums de Mali Altair, the latest release from PDM. Now I'm not particularly happy with the direction Parfums de Mali are going in recently, not in terms of their new releases, because this is actually really good, uh, as we're gonna get onto during this video, but more the reformulations of my favorite fragrances from them, which, is, which has been apparent over the last couple of years. They are becoming less dense, and as a result, do have worse performance. Now before we start, I'd actually put Altair in the same category as Parfums de Mali's Leighton, so a comparison of those two would be more relevant. But I've had a lot of comments and questions recently asking me to compare these two, so that's what we're gonna do in this video. So we're gonna start off today by talking about Ojan, which as I mentioned was my first ever niche fragrance, so of course my first ever Parfums de Mali fragrance. The reason why I bought this first is because the person I was buying it off didn't have Carlisle or Leighton in stock, which is the one I really wanted to buy, but he had this, so I thought, well, I'm gonna buy this and see how it goes. Now, when I first tried it, I wasn't that impressed because I already had Paco Rabanne 1 million Privé in my collection. This was a time when I wasn't very experienced with fragrances, I wasn't making videos, and I didn't know a whole lot about niche fragrances. So when I received this, um, at first, it reminded me slightly of Paco Rabanne 1 million Privé, so I wasn't that impressed with how this smelled. But I left it on my shelf for a few months, I kept going back to it here and there, and there was one moment when it really clicked how magical Ojan was and it's and I smelt it and it reminded me of a, a boozy fragrance. If you could imagine smelling a, a beautiful sweet 12 year old oak barrel matured whiskey, I kind of got that vibe from this, even though this is not marketed as a boozy fragrance. And in the notes, you will not find any mention of boozy notes. On my skin, it just came across as a slightly boozy fragrance. And from then, I fell in love with it. And now it's one of my favorite niche fragrances of all time. So in my opinion, Ojan is one of the best honey, cinnamon, gourmand, wintery fragrances that you can buy. Now the note breakdown could make you think of, of Killian Angel Share as well because they do share some similarities in the notes. But where Ojan differs from Killian is in the inclusion of patchouli and a beautiful woody amber note which is found in the base. So they, they are the main differences between this and Angel Share which also share some similarities to Ojan. So Ojan to me is a perfect wintery style fragrance. It's wintery, it's boozy, it's comforting and the whole scent is absolutely beautiful. It's a joy to wear and it's one of those fragrances that I don't think you can get bored of because it's so beautiful and because of the change it goes through uh, and the change I experienced from thinking it was a, a fragrance similar to One Million Privé to suddenly realizing it's a beautiful, boozy, warming, ambery scent and that's what you get with Ojan. You get honey, you get cinnamon, you get amber, you get woods. They're the main notes you get in Ojan. It's perfect for the winter and it's a must have if you love the honey, cinnamon, and gourmand style fragrances. So we move on to the new Hauteur. Now this is lighter in profile, not in terms of strength, because this is a long lasting fragrance, but the vanilla is lighter. This opens up with a spicy bergamot note, and then you have this beautiful airy vanilla that hits you almost straight away. Now in the base notes, you get ambroxin, you get a beautiful, sweet, but delicate prawly note, and you also get some gaik wood. So in Hauteur, you have this contrast of brighter notes, such as bergamot, and broxin. And broxin, in my opinion, is what gives this fragrance that lift and that airy quality from the vanilla. So you have the contrast of the brighter, airy notes mixed with the sweeter vanilla and prawly. So for me, when I first tried Hauteur, I did really enjoy it. It reminded me of, of what Parfums de Mali is all about, and that is the, the beautiful vanilla fragrances, more designed for the cooler weather. Now, like many of the other Parfums de Mali fragrances, Hauteur is not going to be a complex or challenging niche fragrance fragrance, but it is a high quality, easy to wear, sweet style fragrance, and that's what Parfums de Mali does so well. Parfums de Mali are not a niche brand that create these divisive and unique fragrances that you do find from some other niche brands, but what they do instead is they create high quality fragrances that are liked by most people. Now after a few times of wearing Hauteur, I got this gingerbread vibe from it. I've got no idea what the notes are that remind me of that. It just reminds me of smelling gingerbread. And out of these two fragrances, my girlfriend personally really enjoys this one. I wore this a few days ago and normally she doesn't care about fragrances, doesn't care what I wear. Normally she's moaning that I'm wearing something she doesn't like. But on this occasion, she actually asked me what I was wearing. So I told her it was this. So this is gonna be mass pleasing. Most people around you are gonna 
like this. If we're talking fundamentally about women's opinions, I personally think women will prefer Altair over Ojan. So to sum up then, which one do I think is best out of Haotair and Ojan? Well, in my opinion, Ojan suits the winter better than Haotair does. It's more heavy, it's warmer. It makes me think of really cold weather when I want to feel ultra warm and comfortable. Haotair, on the other hand, would suit most occasions. You could wear this in the autumn. I think this is a really great depiction of autumn weather. Also, when we go into early spring, think March, early April, as the, as the weather starts to warm up, but it's still quite cold outside. Haotair is going to be absolutely brilliant. So we have ultra sweet honey, boozy amber in Ojan, perfect for the winter, versus the lighter, area, perfectly sweet and balanced vanilla that we get in Hauter. And whilst Hauter may be liked by women more, in my opinion, I personally prefer the smell of Ojan. This for me is one of the best fragrances that Parfums de Mali do. It might even be my favorite fragrance from Parfums de Mali, simply because it was my first niche fragrance that I got. But I prefer the smell of this. I think it's a more interesting smell and I, just, and I would just prefer to smell like Ojan. In terms of the performance, they actually have quite similar performance. However, Hauter does project more of my skin. So I hope this video helped you make a decision between Ojan and Hauter. Let me know in the comments, what's your favorite fragrance from Parfums de Mali?